Hello everyone, in this session we're going to be talking about role management. So this is the role management screen. So you can see on the right hand side new role, just click on that role, right? So that's how you create a new role. Now here you can see name, display name, type. Let's check the type. So you can see the organization, business, IT, entitlement. There are many different, four different stuff, right? In an organization, remember in a company, the first thing that you create is you create the organization. Right, that's the first thing that you create, and under the organization role, you create all the remaining things. No, now why? Because uh, it's pretty much like uh, like kind of top of the hierarchy. Remember, organization will not do much, but that's the first. That's the best practice that we do. We create the organization first, then we create other business IT rules. Right? Then you can just give any name, organization role, then the owner, all that stuff you can give. Right? And you can see enable activity monitoring we will not be checking that right uh, until unless you have to monitor your roles so if you have to monitor roles then you are gonna enable this activity uh, enable activity monitoring now the second one uh, the policies provision with uh, profiles as policies so we will not be selecting this because we are not going to use the stuff and it's done so you can say add create a new business rule okay uh, usually there is a business defined you can see here the business role what type of job functionality what type of employee employee type let me give an example uh, so you can understand let's say in an organization if I belong to let's say the HR department then let's say it's a business department then what are all the accesses that I have in the organization that will be defined by this HR role or the IT role right so if any user uh, joins the IT department, it automatically acquires, detects the IT role and automatically assigns the assigns as well as detects that particular IT role. OK, so that's a, that's the reason why we use it. Now it will assign that particular business rule, whatever role name you have created for that uh, uh, in your system. <laughs> right. And it will automatically de detect that particular business role and it will check if this particular role or this whatever all the access uh, will be there for this particular department job type or employee type okay for a particular business role now here you have the assignment rule just click on uh, that if we click on the assignment rule you can see here the match list filter just click on match list then uh, click on add identity attribute so if we can click on this we can see here uh, the department value the name right you can select any attribute you need to give the add sources from where the value will be coming from the hr application and one more thing for the rules for example let's say the employee type consider your requirement is uh, to create a business rule and to create an it rule for the employee type now usually this employee type value either will it will be a full-time uh, contract temporary right it will never have a bunch of values it'll just have like a three four couple of values right that's the department type that's the attribute type but in case of let's say department uh, the job title you can have multiple values right so you will not be creating the thousand of values right it will be just pretty much like static values you have so when you create an employee type it's what i'm saying is when you have an employee type that will be constant compared to the department department is something uh, it'll have more values right so when you have new employee type then only you're going to create it uh, that's the requirement and um, yeah you can see other stuff like entitlements entitlements policy history risk activity user rights user right is something we have already discussed on that uh, let's say a new user joins a organization then he will get all the basic accesses right now just go to the roles so roles so as an example I have uh, let me just give you an example with the department what we have discussed now where we should uh, use that type of attribute for the roles if you have a requirement match list 
then add the identity attribute then select the attribute as the department so you need let's say you are going to create hundreds of department and uh, department as the business rule so if you have to create four business rules right so this is how this is where you created that's it guy for this session thank you very much